Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Z Gallery inspired wall mirror using items that I purchased from Dollar Tree. So if you're interested, just keep watching. For this project, you'll need an 11 by 14 picture frame. You'll also need an 11 by 14 mirrored frame as well. You'll need some of these tower game wooden pieces. You'll need glue. I chose the fix all adhesive as well as crafters glue and my glue gun and glue sticks. You'll need some foam brushes. These are available at your Dollar Tree as well as some spray paint. You can choose whatever you like. I chose the Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic with Primer. And for some extra bling, I used some glitter glue and some glitter ribbon and also some glitter jumbo flakes that I already had that I purchased from Walmart. I have the complete list of what you need down in the description box. So the first thing I did was use my wooden game pieces to create my initial design. I simply laid the towels down one at a time in a random order. I didn't have a certain design that I was trying to follow, but I did want to make sure that they all touch one another as well as make sure that I kept my rectangular shape and added a row of the towels around the outside edges of my design. And when I was done, I had something that looked like this. Once I was happy with my design, I removed the contents from the frame and then I began to glue the pieces together, starting with the pieces closest to the frame first. I started my project out with the crafter's glue, but then I switched to the fix all adhesive to get a much better hold. I let that dry for about four or five hours and then I flipped my design over and using a foam brush, I added a layer of the crafter's glue and the fix all adhesive to the back of each of the towels. I wanted to make sure that these towels stayed in place. I also made sure I added a fair amount of the fix all adhesive to the pieces closest to the frame. I allow my design to dry overnight and then the next day you should have something that looks like this. I then spray painted my design, but I wasn't happy with the color, so I tried to add some of this mirror effect spray. It still did not give me the chrome color that I was looking for. So I think that if you want to recreate this design, you can probably just use your Rust-Oleum metallic spray and get the same effect. While that dried, I removed the mirror from its frame. And because we're using the back of the picture frame to hang our design and the back hardware is only being held together by a small piece of tape, I decided to add a couple of clear pieces of tape just to give it a little extra security. And then using my fix all adhesive and just a little bit of my hot glue, I attached the mirror to the cardboard piece of the picture frame. 
And once my spray paint was dried, I brought my design back in and then using my foam brush, I added a thin layer of the glitter glue to the front of my design. I sprinkled some of my jumbo pieces on top and then another layer of the glitter glue to seal in those jumbo pieces. This gave my design a little extra sparkle. I let that sit for about four or five hours and then I cut my glitter ribbon in half and then used it to trim the inside of the mirror as well as around the edges of the design as well. And here's the finished look. I was really happy with how this turned out guys. It was super cute and easy and cost me less than $15 to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload videos every single week. So until next time, bye!